when I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time wondering why do certain people just leave? Like, why do they disappear? Or as people say nowadays, ghosting. I used to sit and ponder on it and it used to bother me a lot as to why when it seemed like people would get close, they would just up and leave for whatever reason. I used to take that personal. Sometimes you start wondering, well, maybe it's me. Did I do something wrong? Is it something I said? Something I may have did? When in actuality, it was none of those things. You know, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us that there is a season for everything. There's a season to laugh, season to cry, a season to gather, seasons to lose. There are people who come into your life for seasons. Not everybody is designed to hang out forever. Throughout my journey with the Lord, there have been people that God has placed in my life to assist me in different ways, whether it was to give me some knowledge or some wisdom to acquire for the journey forward, or whether it was financial assistance in some sort of way. Like God has definitely brought people to me that were not exactly for me, but he utilized them for my favor. And that is the beautiful thing about the Lord. He will bring people into your life for a season to assist you. Sometimes the Lord removes people when he knows the trajectory of their life. Sometimes there are some people that are into things that can cause us harm and he may pluck them out of your presence. It's one thing we don't know about people. It's what they do behind closed doors. Some of you have friends you may have been associated with for many years and all of a sudden they don't come around anymore. They don't call you anymore. And you're thinking, man, like what, what happened? What did I do? But you don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. You see, God is always going to protect his children. He's always going to give you discernment to fill things out. You, some of you have friends and associates that are messing with witchcraft behind closed doors, messing around with necromancing, messing around with black magic. These things are very, very popular these days and openly practiced. You can go to your local bookstore and you can see a lot of that stuff, the occult practices and books and tarot cards. You see all of that stuff on the, near the front counter and there's even a section for it. And again, some of you, even like myself, know people who are involved in that stuff. And God, he doesn't want you to be around that. Because if you are in the presence of a person that's practicing divination, witchcraft, black magic, necromancing, any of these like practices that the Bible condemns and you're in the presence of those people, guess who's going to feel the demonic effects of that stuff? You are. You. Maybe it's not black magic. There may be people in your life who are involved with other sin that could potentially bring you down too. Again, we don't, we, we just don't know what people are dealing with or what they have going on behind closed doors. 
I want to encourage you. Don't think that it's you. Don't think that you've done something wrong. Don't think that you're being punished and you just have this dark cloud over your head. Because in actuality, it could be God protecting you. Some of you are in relationships and your boyfriend is acting weird and your girlfriend is acting strange and maybe they're doing immoral things and you break up with them. You wanted it to work, but God had other plans. You wanted it to prosper, but the Lord said no. If we can think back many years ago on a case-to-case -case basis, maybe there were some things in which you had, you had going on, you wanted it to work and it didn't work out, and then you look back and you're like, wow, I'm actually pretty glad that didn't work out because, you know, that person that you were once involved with, you know, who knows what they may have been involved with, some crime or just something ungodly that the Lord just didn't want you to be attached to. And I think that ultimately that's how we need to look at this. When people leave us, when people just so-called abandon us, we need to look at it in a manner that where God didn't want that to be attached to you. Because if that stuff is attached to you, it's going to affect you spiritually. And it'll put you in a bad position. It may potentially cause you to drift. It may cause you to fall into sin. And you, you know, we, we can't afford that. You can't afford that. So whoever leaves your life, let them go. Whoever disappears, let them go. Whoever stops talking to you out of nowhere, whoever decides to just stop reaching out, stop texting, let them go. Don't beat yourself up about it, especially if you know that you didn't do anything. If you know you've done all of the right things and you're a good friend and you're faithful, let them go. The same with people in business. If you have somebody that, you know, was once a customer and all of a sudden they just go and they disappear, don't get upset about it. Remember, your customers are not your provider. They're not your source. They're just a resource that the Lord has brought your way. You know, if God brought them to you for that season. He can bring you 10 more. He can bring you 20 more. We got to stop putting so much confidence behind people that it affects us throughout life. And it won't be the last time somebody comes and goes. There may be somebody else who comes your way. And they are there for a couple of months or maybe a couple of years and then the Lord says, okay, time's up. You've gotten what you needed from this person in this season. And perhaps they've gotten what they needed from you during this season. People feed off of each other, whether you realize it or not. So don't be upset. Don't be alarmed if people come and then they go. It's going to be all right. Amen. Remember to put the Lord first, because if it's one person that's not going to disappear or ghost you, it's Jesus. He's not going nowhere. Men will come and they will go. Women will come and they will go. Customers will come and they will go. But when Jesus comes, he ain't going nowhere. Holy Spirit dwells within you, period, point blank. I want you to comment down below. They can go because I got Jesus. 
Subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Share it with a friend. God bless. Peace.